Hi, and welcome back for another haul video. Uh, so this is part of our week we spent in Central Oregon. I, I guess you'd call this kind of like a mini series of, of all the little uh, thrift stores we went to in the little towns out, out in Central Oregon when we were staying at Eagle Crest Resort. And so this next haul is from a store a little thrift store called honey hole which i thought was really funny when i first um and this was in madras um so it was the only store i think this was well there might have been another one i can't remember um so unless this was in prineville also <laughs> i lose track it's in, it was either in Madras or Prineville, and it was called the Honey Hole. And when I Googled, like, thrift stores near me, it, it came up, Honey Hole. And I, I thought that was pretty funny because I know people have their honey holes. And this was actually a really interesting little thrift store. I believe it was privately owned. I don't, it kind of seemed like maybe they did estate clear outs. Um, they had some really cool furniture and stuff. And at first I thought the prices were kind of high, but then when I asked her, um, what does, she, what are her clothes? Cause her clothes were all kind of thrown in some bins and stuff. She did have racks with some dresses. She had like this dress here, um, hung up and stuff. And she said, well, you fill this basket, you know, it's one of those like carrying baskets in the grocery store you see where you just could hand carry a little basket in. She says, fill up one of those baskets, it's $5 for whatever you could stuff in there from the clothes and stuff. And, and, I, and then I asked her about, because I saw this dress here, this it's like a 1930s handmade dress. And um, I asked her, well, what about the dresses over on the rack? She just had a few, they're mostly coats and a few dresses. And she said, um yeah you could shove those in there too except for the beaded dresses that she had, they had two beaded dresses and they were one was probably from the 80s i mean they both were probably from the 80s um but there was this one that i could tell was probably had the style of the 30s although i can't specifically say this is from the 30s it does have some dirt dirt on the bottom of the hem let me show you the top part of it so it's all biased cut. Whoops, a pillow fell down. So it's all bias cut here. If you could see that gathered here, like the front and the back are pretty similar. I believe this must be the front because it's got more gathers in it. And it's all cut on the bias. But then it the hem is all dirty, so and it's a satin it's a nice it's a nice quality so it has even the fabric is like a satin from the 30s and then it had this this is a belt and it had these base metal clips that would also be from the 30s so it could have been a handmade dress from the 30s um but this is missing this clip-on part and I don't know if there was something a stone or anything that was in this but it's that that old base metal um, part and then the belt loops let me see if I can find the belt loop I found yeah were hand crocheted I mean that's how you would make your homemade little belt loops probably can't see that too well anyway um, so this very well could be a dress from the 30s. Uh, very tiny, but it does need to be cleaned. She had another dress there that I also thought was from the 30s, but it had a stain in the center and it was silk. And I and I should have grabbed it anyway because it was one of it would have been along with all the other stuff I shoved in the basket. So all the clothes I got from the honey hole. Uh, cost me five dollars and then I asked her about her shoes and she said the shoes were a dollar each and then I found a little purse and I will show you that. So I was really happy about, um, I didn't dig deeply through all the bins, tubs of clothes she had there. I just kind of dug through a little bit of them and pulled out what I wanted because uh, obviously my husband's there waiting in the truck for me. Um, but I was really happy to find the ugly Swiss Christmas sweaters and shirts. Um, so this is a dress barn. And this is a denim. 
shirt. I think this one is vintage. So this is a Christmas. It's a Santa. So would you call this an ugly Christmas shirt? <laughs> oh, and what's really cute also, besides all the little bells on it, is the little Santa, Santa Claus buttons. So you can tell, feel this needs to be cleaned because it, it, it doesn't look grimy, but it feels like it's been sitting around for a while. So that needs to be clean. Anyway, like I said, the clothes I'm showing you, I think it, when I counted how many items I got, it worked out to about $1.12 a piece. And this is a purple ugly Christmas sweater from the 80s. Oh, it's cute. It's a Victorian harbor, size large, has the shoulder pads. Um, and wait, can you see what the print is? It's all beaded with white beads and a little holiday. It look, just looks like a little holiday beading going on. But I imagine you could wear it any other time. But to me, it's a holiday sweater in purple. Um, cute. Here's another Christmas sweater. This is Jack Be Quick Holiday. I don't know if this one's vintage, though. I don't think it is. But it's got the little tin soldiers on it and the candy cane neckline and just gold buttons. Um, cute, what size is that? It's a large, so it's a Ramey and Cotton. Uh, nice sweater. This is another <laughs> ugly Christmas shirt. This is the Quacker factory here. Uh, 2X, 100% cotton in this purple brush corduroy. And definitely Christmas theme with the snowflakes and the little Quacker Factory buttons. But look at the back. There is your Christmas snowman. I like I like snowman. I have snowman um, figurines that I like to fit snowmans and Santa Claus figurines that I kind of decorate my house with. Uh, they're my kind of favorite little figurines. So this is really cool with it down the sleeves in purple. And is that it for the clothes? That's it. One more for the clothes. It's not Christmas, but summer. So break out in summer. This is a Melrose woman here. And it is a size 24. This is rayon, but I do like the colorful print on this. Um, if it wasn't too big for me, I would definitely keep it because I like the color print. So that's a size 24. And then I got the shoes. These shoes are for a dollar. And pull the bag up on my lap. So these are color works. Little slip on. Um, they do have an issue with the beads on the one toe. So I do need to do a little bit of work on the toe on this toe. I want to do a little glue and then I could maybe stitch some more beads on or but I do want to glue the tip or just as is because it really doesn't notice them that much with all these little beads and the color what is on them birds I don't know bugs fish fish they're fish little fish little fishy things and then these are just your classic little Vince Camuto, 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 um, nude heels, pumps. They're, they're in okay shape on the outside. Um, just a little bit of worn around in here where it probably rubs on the shoe. So I don't know if, if the nude 
pills are still a, a thing or not. I just know it was very, very, that color, these color heels and stuff was very, very, very popular. You just wore them with everything. So I don't know what women still do. And then these, I'm not sure if vintage or not, but these are a pair of candies. Some candies. Little lace tennis shoes. Some lace ribbon tennis shoes. Need some cleaning up. And these are Express, Pacific Express Christmas tennis shoes here. And here's another pair. And they're all these are size eight. So maybe I'll lot these up together, these two express. And you could wear your white holly and then your red with the snowflakes. <laughs> tennis shoes um, and then this little vintage purse I think it's like a 70s it's some wear to the frame a little black it's fabric on the inside has a little wear in there and it's just a little rabbit fur chain and then this, this was in with the $5 stuff, so I don't, this wasn't anything. But it was just a little doily, crochet doily, that I could lot it up with a bunch of other doilies I have. So that was everything I got for, I don't know, 5 to $11. Got all that stuff for $11 at the Honey Halter store, which... I think was in Prineville. Yes, I, that was in Prineville. Because the one I went to Madras, I went to one, there was only one in Madras that we went to. And I will show you that next, in the next video of what I picked up uh, at that thrift store. Okay, so if you like this, hit the thumbs up or like button and subscribe if you want more, if you want what sold content and haul content and adventure content. Either way, it's all in the playlist. Okay, thanks for watching and until the next haul video. Okay, series, the next series of the haul video. They'll all be coming out within the next week or so. Okay, thanks. All right, bye.